I got really interested in cancer diagnostics after a f family tragedy. A close family friend who was like an uncle to me actually passed away from pancreatic cancer when I was about uh, in eighth grade. And so I was about 13 or 14. I actually learned all the like knowledge and material that I needed uh, just using Google and Wikipedia. And so I would just find all this different information and I was able to kind of give myself a crash course in cancer biology in six months. We really have no ways of detecting these cancers until they're far too late. And so I set out with eighth grade biology to change how we do cancer diagnostics. So essentially what happens is it's made out of this carbon substance that I created and it will change its electrical properties based on the amount of a certain protein in your bloodstream. So what it does is you just take a drop of blood, you put it on the test strip, you wait five minutes, you measure the change in electrical properties, and you can instantly see whether or not you have the cancer. It's kind of like a diabetic test strip. It costs three cents and takes five minutes to run. It can detect pancreatic, ovarian, and lung cancer in the early stages, and it has close to 100% accuracy so far. So, Really exciting and it's 168 times faster, 26,000 times less expensive and 400 times more sensitive than our current methods of detection and can be broadly expanded to pretty much any disease. In the category of medicine and Before the internet was born, I would have never been able to like come up with these ideas because you would have to go to the library and you'd have to read through all of these different books and maybe the book would be checked out and so you wouldn't have access to the same resources that we have today. And so it definitely made it uh, feasible for me to kind of give myself this crash course in cancer. My parents really did push me in and really inspired me to become a scientist. My mom's a nurse and my dad's a civil engineer and my brother is now an electrical engineer. So. I feel as if between all that, I really did become inspired to do science, and science was definitely a really big thing in my family. There definitely is a shortcoming in terms of young researchers, especially in the US. And I think we can attribute that to our culture where we kind of value all these other fields over science and portray science as this very dry field where it's just memorization and like spinning up facts and figures. And that's not what science is about. Science is all about using your curiosity and creativity to explore and improve the world around you. And I really think that we need to revamp our scientific education. I think that if we do that, there will definitely be an improving in the number of young scientists we have. <laughs>